watch men do that same thing. You notice how when they when they pick up your trash, they always beat the shit out of your cans. I think that's what that whole fad came about. But I was never a fashion victim myself. I was always Cindy Brady. Girl, what did you eat for dinner up there? What did you eat? Did you eat something nice? Yeah. Well, I can hear them back there. You can hear them back there giggling. Turn those microphones off backstage. We can hear you out here. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen one talent, and now it's time for question and answer. And to bring on the first contestant in question and answer, I would like to bring to the stage someone who is a fabulous entertainer. She crowned me, which means she has good taste. And she's also from St. Louis, Missouri. Ladies and gentlemen, please bring to the stage Miss Shayla Simpson with our first finalist in question and answer. Along with finalist number six, Stephanie Wells. In your bio, you stated that throughout your 14 years of impersonation, you have held titles in the America system, the US of A system, the Continental system, and of course, the Entertainer of the Year system. What advice can you contribute to someone that is just starting to, to participate in female impersonation competitions? I'll repeat the question. In your bio, you stated that throughout your 14 years of impersonation, you have held titles in the America system, the US of A system, the Continental system, and of course, the Entertainer of the Year system. What advice can you contribute to someone that is just starting to participate in female impersonation competitions? Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm finalist number six, Stephanie Wells. I happen to know something about this because I've had several people that I know that have just started into the competition um, market. And I'd like to say that the thing that I've told them more than anything is to always understand what you are on the inside. Because no matter what you do on stage, um, you have to be yourself. And you also have to learn how to be humble, very. Because um, when you get all up there, um, you kind of forget what the important things are. And the important things are to me, when I'm on stage, is to always be 100% entertainment. And more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, I tell them, just be yourself. Thank you very much.